Hello, everyone. I'm going to use this video to show you one extra example of how we bootstrapping a spot curve from a power curve. So now I'm going to share my screen. So if you look at here, um, column A, those part, that is the time to maturity. And the power rate means the coupon rate for a power bound. Do you still remember the definition of power bound? So when the face value is 1000 and the power bound definition is that the price of the bond equals to the face value equals to 1000. And I put the power curve over here, as you all know, for t equal to one, spot curve equals to power curve, spot rate equals to power rate. And so we start from this one for year two, we assume it's one percent because we're gonna use the solver to solve this rate. We can also use a formula, but the formula is very large and complicated. Solver is a much better way to find out the spot curve. So for this two year power bound, the cash flow the first year, it will be the power rate, the coupon rate times the face value. I'm gonna fix this. I press F4. And the second year, we're gonna receive another coupon payment, which is the power rate times the face value again, and then plus this face value. I, I will press F4 to fix it. And then we needed to find out the discounted cash flow so that we can find out the price of this power bond. So it's equals to the cash flow and we discount it by spot curve. This is for year one. And for year two, we're gonna discount it by this rate. This 1% actually is what we need to find out. I just use a 1% here as a uh, you know um, placeholder. So we're gonna find that this power bound price with this 1% um, spot rate, it's $1,160, which is incorrect, right? Because power bound, the price should equal to 1,000. So we're gonna use this solver. The objective cell is the two year power bound price. We want to make it that, uh, equals to 1,000 by changing the spot curve. We're gonna keep this solver solution. So we found that the spot rate for year two is 9.48. Okay, let's move to the, uh, for the, move to the spot rate for year four, a uh, year three. And again, we will need to use this three year power bond uh, to figure out the spot rate for year three. So remember this three year power bond, the coupon payment will based on the coupon rate of um, par, coupon rate of 9%, which is the power rate for t equal to three times the face value. And again, I'm gonna press F4 to fix it. And of course at the end of year three, we're gonna receive the last coupon payment and the face value. So then we needed to find out the par price, par bond price. We first need to figure out those discounted cash flows. We discount the cash flow by spot rate. That's the definition of spot curve. And then the price of this power bond is gonna be a sum of the discounted cash flows. And we found with this 1% spot rate at t equal to three, the power bond price is 1,200, which is definitely incorrect. Because power bond definition is that we want the, uh, is that the price of the power bond equals to 1,000, equals to the face value. So again, we will make that cell as objective cell and by changing the 
spot curve, spot rate at t equal to three, and then we keep the solver solution. So basically, we repeat this for this four-year power bond. Um, the coupon rate will be will from power curve will be eight point five percent. And then the cash flow will be the 8.5% times 1,000. I press F4 again. And remember at the end of year four, we will receive the $85, the last coupon payment and the 1,000 face value. And then we want to find out the power bond price I, we first need to figure out all the discounted cash flows. We will discount count all those cash flows by spot curve, spot rate. So the price of this power bond will be the sum of all the discounted cash flows. And of course, we want to make the price of this power bond uh, equals to 1,000. By changing the power rate at t equal to four, uh, the spot rate at t equal to four. And we're gonna keep this solver solution. For a year five, the five year power bound coupon rate will be the rate um, the par rate at t equal to five. And the payment gonna be the rate times the face value. And at the end of year five, we're gonna receive last the coupon payment $80 and the face value $1,000. And we need to again find out this five year power bond price by first find out the discounted cash flows each year. It will be the cash flow discount by spot curve. And sum it up, that's the price of this power bond. And we use solver again to make the power price power bond price equals to the face value by changing the power rate over here. Let's just assume it's 1%. Uh, it's eight. So next one, six year power bond, we basically follow the same procedure. The rate gonna be 7.5% times the face value, oh, I just found that we actually do not need to put anything over here. So let's just try one more time. So we find out the discounted cash flow and we discount it by the spot curve. And we sum it up. Don't forget the last year, we're gonna receive not only coupon payment, but also the face value. And then again, we make this power bond price equals to 1000 so that it is called a power bond. By changing G18. So that is basically the spot curve. Okay, so I think that's the today's uh, video and thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments or unclear about this video, feel free to leave comments uh, or like it. Thank you very much, bye.